goodness. Yo. This is real. This is real. <laughs> Holy crap. There it is. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. to ABC7. We might be on the news or something. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, there's the ball. There's the ball. Oh my goodness. Is this real life? It is. Are you kidding me? I am not. gentlemen we have reached a peak in the spotlight for radio reviews because uh yeah take a good look as to where we are because we're right next to abc 7s hq and one Times square and on that note hey guys what's up it's clay ranger 143 here along with a very tired thunder buddy 01 <laughs> you just got here by train how are you tired we walked the, a good part of, let's see, where's the place of Yeah, so we walked around a mile from Ew. Grand Central Terminal. And that's with the freaking turnaround. Didn't feel like a mile, but it was. Yeah. And. No Prosetto Star. The OG NorCal Dude 599. We might have to talk a little bit louder than we normally do for this because, uh, yeah, this is New York City. I thought it was San Francisco. No, I thought it was Newark. I thought it was Cleveland. I thought it was Raleigh. I thought it was Los Angeles. I thought it was Los Santos, which doesn't exist, but because it's in GTA. I thought it was Pittsburgh. I thought it was Philadelphia. I thought it was Stanford. Oh, <laughs> I thought this was Chicago. I thought this was Indianapolis. I thought, I thought Fort this Wayne. was... Fuck Fort Wayne. Why? Because... Just because of one per okay, that's kind of childish. Yeah, we just say I didn't say that. The whole city is shit. 
Not because of that one bitch. Well, fucking fuck you too then. Anyways, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, huh? Free elbow bumps. Free elbow bumps. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, we're here in New York City, and we have this with us, another bail thing with an extra battery. Another bail thing with an extra battery. How about that? I have to talk this close to the microphone because they are, there is so much noise here. You're going to you're going to New York City. What can you expect? You're gonna you're gonna deal with a lot of noise. Exactly. Yeah, basically. Yeah. This, yeah. this is literally a tourist attraction of the world. Literally. It's one of the largest cities in the pack, but mm -hmm. we'll talk about we'll, yeah, talk we'll, about we'll talk about that in another video. Maybe. So yeah. Instead, while we're right next to the beloved ball up there, why don't we take a look at this thing in this episode of Radio Reviews? While we take a look at the successor to the Baofeng UV5R, the Baofeng UV5R V2 Plus. UV5R V2 Plus. It's basically a successor to the UV5R, but it's slightly newer, and it has a V2, obviously. It's a version 2. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. But, um, yeah. And it's a Plus. So, Plus, we're gonna have the Plus of the V2s. And the V2s with the Plus features. And Plus, we get Plus features. Anyways, um, yeah. Let's take a quick look at it. I should mention this has an extended battery. So, it's gonna be looking slightly different. And I apologize for the wind noise. It's very breezy here, but um, the breeze feels so good. It does. Yes, it, does. it honestly does. Actually, if I come up here, that's gross. <laughs> we're in the city, bitch. <laughs> um, no, really. I thought we were in the country. I thought we were on a fucking volcano. Anyway, I mean, we could. We could be, but um, yeah. Anyways, the UV5 RV2 Plus. So it looks your. This basically looks like just any regular standard bail thing. Only this one has an extended battery because the original one that came with it was completely dead. And here it is without the battery. But this is what it would look like with the normal battery. Basically the same as the UV5R. And this is the V2 Plus. But uh, yeah, with the extended battery, and this is not going to be another feature by the way because uh, yeah, it, it's here. There are some other options that you can get, like an external antenna that, instead of like, you know, fixed, it's a little bit wobbly, that has some like leeway with it. And other than that, it's basically just a UV5R. But um, you can see you have your tuning knob, plus your power button up there, you got the flashlight right there, you got the uh, speaker grill, which is actually metal, apart from plastic. Um, you have all your buttons on the keypad right here, you have this button right here, the A slash B button, the VFO slash MR button, the transmit button, push the talk and the call buttons are right there. On the back you don't really have much. And on this side you have the speaker, speaker jack, speaker and, jack the and the microphone jack. And the speaker jack is actually a little bit smaller. It's a five millimeter speaker jack rather than three and a half millimeters. Don't you mean bigger then? No, the, this is the speaker jack. Yeah, that's that's 3.5? No, this is 3.5. Then yeah. This is five millimeters. Five millimeters would be bigger though, right? No, oh. the plug is smaller, but uh, or would it be? It would be a, that, it, Actually, no. I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm stupid. Hi. <laughs> I'm with stupid in New York. 
Says the stupid I don't, one I, 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 I don't fucking know which one is which. You never know. No, you, you're, you're right. Even in places like New York City, I don't know shit. But that's right, a, that's a proven fact. Either. That is a proven fact. It's okay. I don't, I don't know shit either. Sounds about right. Yeah. But um, yeah, what we do know is that we're going to get into this radio's cool quirks and features in the middle of Times Square as we listen to Quote 35. Blasting our eardrums. Um, I should um, it's, note it's blasting yours. I'm perfectly fine. Yeah, I should I should note that KWO 35 is the only station we'll be able to get in this episode because we're literally yeah, in, we're literally in the heart of New York City. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna be able to get anything else. I'll be damned if we do. I mean, we can try, but uh, good luck with that. So, anyways, yeah, why don't we get to the first feature, and that would be this. The button beeps. Okay, the button beeps on the Beofang UV5 RV2 Plus. Mention. This is CBS News. Yep, the CBS, the Viacom CBS building. Good morning, America. Hey, we're on the news. We're next to the station. Oh, by the way, uh, WINS is the only triangle station on AM that's in here. Really? I, yeah, I did. I took multiple pictures of uh, of the uh, of the triangle stations here. Only like three of them. Just three. Yeah. What about AM? Well, that's in total. Like, I got three AM, uh, three three triangle stations in total. But anyways, on AM and FM. Yeah. Obviously, we can get WCBS, but uh, yeah. Anyways. Um. Anyway. Let's get to the siren test on this thing. Okay. So to do the siren test, it actually requires a little bit of. Oh my God. So uh, to do the siren test, it actually requires a little bit of uh, risky business because it actually transmits a little bit. A little bit. And to do it, you just press call. Yeah. It's Pac-Man in yeah, a handheld radio. And plus we're right next to the NYPD building, which is right over there. Yeah, literally. And the NYPD HQ is one Times Square. That's literally where we're at. Yeah, but you can't get this close. You can't get much closer than this. But yeah, that was the siren test on the Beofang. Uh, and um, you might remember in the UV5R episode that I was running around like Pac-Man. Oh, you might Christ. be running. Uh, or, excuse me. You might be remembering that. But um, I'm not sure if I should. Yeah, not not here. You'll look like a fool if you do. 
together. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. A, we'll see. A, we'll see a, a, a freaking. We'll see a freaking hillbilly with a beard and a backwards hat with no cell phone running around New York City holding a freaking radio that's meant to be used for I don't know uh, police officers and, and and all those people. God, motherfucking damn! Bro, who are you, Chester Stone? No. Then why are you saying Ch why are you saying Chester Stone line? Because I can. Anyway, so now that we discussed the uh, siren test on this thing, why don't we get into the next feature on this radio? Yeah, why don't we? What do you mind explaining? Okay, so um, would you mind explaining why yours has this on it? Oh yeah, I'd be delighted. Uh, let's just say that the original battery that came with this bail fang took a massive shit like after three years that I've had this. Oh, How long have you had it again? Let's see, I got this back in 2017. Four years. So yeah, four years, okay, yeah. So yeah, I got this radio back in 2017 and up until this point, the original battery took a massive shit. Yikes. It's about right because it's lithium ion. Yeah. Or nickel metal hydride chargeable, whatever comes first. To show, an, to show what the actual battery looks like, it looks like this. It's a lithium it's a, ion. It's a 7.4 volt, 3800 milliamp hour battery. As you see, it says bail fang right there. So that's so, actually a replacement battery from yeah. bail fang. Yes, it is. The original one, I think it's like a 13 or 1400 milliamp hour battery. I can't remember. But again, all who, I know, who remembers milliamp hours on batteries anyway? All I know is that that one, yeah. It took a shit and it's long gone. Long gone like the rest of it. Yep. But yeah. Look at this. Actually, this behind us is the Paramount. This battery thing. actually happens to be a a second battery because I bought another one of these. And it's it's at home. And what's weird is when I got it, it had a little dent right here. Oh, really? Yeah. The like, other what secondary kind of battery, it, it was like a. It wasn't like really terrible, but it was enough to notice, notice it. it. Yes. This so one, it's essentially like a chip off the old block. Yeah. In a bad way. Surprisingly, this one doesn't have it, but yeah, the other one that I got had a had a dent on it. So this is your second replacement battery. Yeah, this was the this is the one that I actually had sent to Katie's place. Oh. Ohio. I see. No wonder. Yeah. So. But hey, it does the job. It does the job. So. Um, thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, so as he, so as he, as he, as he, as he, Broly. four size. Now as he proceeds to play on his fault. Okay. Oh. You fucking suck. Oh, wait. <laughs> you absolutely suck. And you absolutely swallow. How about you suck my diddly don't diddy? <laughs> anyway, so, uh, so that was the battery. Um, yeah, so you can get replacement batteries for these. I'm sure you can probably find oh, yeah. them on like Amazon or something. Not just that, they're pretty cheap too. Yeah, I think I paid like seven dollars. Not That's bad. It. Yeah, only seven dollars. Just seven dollars for that. Yeah. And this gets more battery life than the original one. Yeah, it does. Well, I how think about this, that? I think if you, uh, depending on how much you use it, you'll probably get get a good month's worth. And oh my God, it's the whole. To your right. Oh, oh God. shoot. <laughs> anyway. Not destroy this. But um, anyways, why don't we get into the next feature? And that would be the overall setup of it because there's quite a lot of options. Oh, I didn't know I was doing this. I don't, I don't know how to use this thing. <laughs> well, I'll tell you how. So if you turn the radio on. Frequency mode. So you press menu. Menu. Let's see how many options there are on this, okay? That's that's for the squelch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four.
40 options in one menu. 40. That's a lot. Talk about overkill, like, my God. Also, um, could you imagine, like, could you imagine, do you remember, like, that, that countdown clock I made for New Year's Eve? Can you imagine if that was playing through here? <laughs> Can you imagine how cool that would be? That would look amazing. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, the setup itself is pretty intuitive, and uh, here's what you gotta do. You just press the menu right there. And from here, you can access quite a lot of options. You can access your squelch, you can access your step, TXP, your saves, your Vox, your WN, your ABR, your TDR, your button beats, of course, your TOTs, RDCS. Something's going on over there. Um, your RCTCS. There's quite a lot of abbreviated options in this radio because it's a very complex and obviously we would not have enough time to review all the features. But uh, yeah, the, the menu itself and the setup is pretty intuitive. And uh, you can actually change the color of the LEDs. Blue, yeah. You can change it to blue, orange, or purple. Yeah. For any of them. So if I wanted to change it to orange, look at that. Look, it now has an orange display. That cur that's what that looks cursed. And now it's purple. Look at that purple. Purple now. Wow. <laughs> and then, of course, if you want to turn it off, you can. And then the RX LED. So yeah, the menu has a lot of stuff in itself, but now we're going to get into the one thing that helps you activate stuff in the menu and navigate it. The voice. Okay, on to the next feature, and that is the voice of the Baofeng UV5 RV2+. Just like the regular Baofeng, you have the same exact voice as before. And it's not just for the menu, too. Menu. Also, um, excuse me. Um, menu. I should also mention. You can also change the voice language to voice from English, Chinese, or off. That's it. Confirm. And then it says confirm. There's the auto lock feature. And then it says this. Backlight selection. Confirm. Backlight selection. Confirm. And it also does the same thing for the numbers on the keypad. One, six, two, five, five, zero. Temperatures were between 86 and 89 degrees. It was mostly sunny in Somerset and Trenton. It was partly sunny in Caldwell. In weather, it was fair. In Southwest Connecticut, skies ranged from mostly sunny to partly sunny, and temperatures were between 84 and 88 degrees. Here are the latest reports on the coastal water. Good old Cold 35. Gee, I wonder where that's at. Empire State Building. Yep, right here in the heart of New York City. We're not even that far from it. So, yeah. Why don't we go ahead and get into the next feature and uh yeah it's a bad one javier you're gonna have to back me up here all right what do we go this is a bad feature all right that will be the fact that you can buy one of these things without a license and transmit over government frequencies this is a bad thing oh. i'll explain why <laughs> As Michael proceeds to check his Pornhub account, I mean, what? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So apparently, uh, this is a horrible feature that we are going to be going through. And okay, it's, it's, it's not exactly horrible, it's just bad it's, to have. It's, yeah, it's rather questionable, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. And there's a pigeon. There's another pigeon. Hi, pigeon, you are pigeon. now on the internet. 
flying rats, as they call them. But yeah, it's kind of it's kind of really easy to get get your hands on one of these without you know having a, a license or something like that. Oh hey, there's Deadpool over there. Hey, hey, My hey. phone is going off. What phone? Was it mine? No. Oh, never mind. False alarm. False alarm. Don't mind me. I'm taking pictures. Hey, look, another one. More flying ra Aww. Do I dare try and pet it? No, because it's... Yeah, it's gonna run off. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna fly off? Yeah, you know what I mean. Nice. Anyways, uh, yeah. The fact that you can just buy one of these things for f practically free because... Huh? I know. I know. Square, but oh my God. it's bad enough to buy one of these things without a license, but it's also bad because you can just literally transmit on yeah. any frequency possible, or at least most frequencies, because... BAM! Anyways, uh, yeah. That's hey, it's the, the shitter. The it's the shitter. <laughs> but yeah, you, you see what I mean. Yeah, I do. It should not be this easy to get. It should not be this easy to obtain a bail fang. No. Which, with transmission capabilities, like over government frequencies, this should not be this easy to obtain. It just simply should not be this easy to obtain. Mm -hmm. Because in my honest opinion, that's how you get false EAS activations, false siren activations, but we'll get to that possibly in a future episode, but not right now. Yeah. But... Really? What am I missing? There's a Browns fan. Two Browns fans. Hmm. There's no chance of a touchdown in your stadium. Browns <laughs> fans. Why aren't they saluting the Jets? The New York Giant Jets. <laughs> well then. As we hear the constant ambiance of New York Police Department cars. Huh? I mean, you gotta love that, right? Oh, yeah, you, you, you gotta love the atmosphere of NYC. Yeah, that you we just, do. You just gotta love the atmosphere of it because you just literally have to hear it 24 7, 365 or 6. Depending on you can just TV. smell that NYC air. Ah, yes. It's so intoxicating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, shit. Oh, it's terrible. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. There's all that stuff happening. Sidetrack. Yes. Yeah, I'm trying to get sidetracked too much. Well, then again, we kind of did when we first set foot here. Yeah, yeah. but um, that's besides the point. Nicholas is uh, currently at the Starbucks. Look at that storm stuff. clouds over there. It should not be this easy to obtain with the amount of transmission capabilities that this has. Yeah. Because it can get you in a lot of trouble with not just your local police department or fire department, but, but the with FBI. the FCC. And the FBI. Yes. Maybe. Yes. But mainly with the FCC. The Federal yeah. Communications Commission. The FCC and other authorities have developed a system to keep you informed in the event of an emergency. <laughs> No, because 
could. I cannot I escape the zoom effect, even in New York City. I can't. No. I can't. I can't. <laughs> so, is there anything you like to say? Hi. That's it. I'm just, I'm just here. Nope. God damn it. I didn't know what Nicholas would say if he was <laughs> <laughs> You just don't stop, do you? No. Nope. Of course not. No. Control your boyfriend. Oh, look at me. Oh, I'm looking right at you. <laughs> I, I can't make any promises. <laughs> I can. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, anyhow. Next feature, speaker quality with 1235. Okay, the speaker quality on the Baofeng UV5 RV2 Plus. So let's go over here, right on the Broadway. On Broadway. Huh? I'll be back. This should be okay, right? Yeah. Gotta love Broadway. On Broadway. So, so let's test it out. On good old 162.55 megahertz, originating from the National Weather Service office in Optin, New York. Then slight chance of showers and thunderstorms late this evening. For Sunday, north winds 5 to 10 knots with gusts up to 20 knots, becoming east in the afternoon. Waves one foot or less. For Sunday night, southeast winds around five knots, becoming northeast around five knots after midnight. Waves one foot or less. And for Monday, east winds five to ten knots. Waves one foot or less. Winds and waves. So you can obviously tell that the storms. The marine forecast for Western Long Island Sound. For tonight, we hear most island. And more breezes. to the speaker quality you could you could definitely tell that it sounds decent for the most part but at the same time it also suffers from the distortion when the volume is up too high yeah it suffers from extreme distortion yeah but uh, so I guess it's okay it's in between at least and then here comes the man of the hour here comes Nicholas so uh, yeah, why don't we go ahead and get to the next feature, and that would be the reception. We can only do it here because we're in NYC and we're outside, so there's no point of doing it inside anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> right. Jesus. Anyways, um. The reception on the Baofeng UV5 RV2. <laughs> the reception. Let's get to that real quick. So, um. Oh, good goodness. And he's gone. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I don't know him. <laughs> right. Literally on the ground laughing. Oh my god. He's literally on the ground. <laughs> Are you good? Are you alright? I can't. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Anyways. 
I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Alright, I'm good. Yeah, you can hold that. Yep, we also recorded the Mount Sinai ambulance. Oh, nice. It's right over there. I don't know what happened, but... Something serious must have happened, unfortunately, but... Uh, Anyways, the reception, let's try it out on good old Quo 35, because, uh, literally, that's the only channel we can get in New York City. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, God, he's coming back. Oh, God, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the reception, let's try it out on good old Quo 35. <laughs> I should mention that this also has an auto squelch feature and it is currently enabled, so... <laughs> I'm sorry, but um, I should mention that it has an auto squelch feature, which means if it receives nothing but static, it'll automatically... I've been, I've been here. It'll automatically... Um, he just now sat down, but I'm just saying... Um, yeah, it has an auto squelch feature, which means if it. Hey, Larry, Lance, I don't even know, want to know what the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, bro. This guy. But yeah, auto squelch feature, which means if it, if it detects static, it'll automatically mute the broadcast. So, right now it's on channel one, and we can't even get anything. Channel two, we can't get anything. Channel three, we can't get anything. Channel four, we can't get anything. Channel five, nothing. Channel six, nothing. But channel seven. <laughs> That is. that is Quo 35 in New York City, New York, right which is where we're at. Right on the 81st floor of the Empire State Building, with antennas pointing to the northwest and southeast. Yep. With a power of 1,000 watts on a frequency of 162.550 megahertz, originating from the National Weather Service office in Upton, New York. I mean, with this, it's obviously good. But, um, I'll splice in some footage from when we get back to Connecticut. That's one thing we're gonna do. So, yeah, let's just assume that the reception is good on it. I mean, how would you rate it, the reception? Like, in a normal area, like, when you tried it at Connecticut, do you remember how good it was or how bad it was or if it was in between because uh, I would say it's in between oh really but if you uh, upgrade antennas a little bit you might get something better I'm so <laughs> anyways Trouble keeping your composer. <laughs> what? I have brain damage. 
Getting back on topic real quick. So now that we cover the reception, uh, I think we. <laughs> Speak up a little. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so now that we covered the uh, the speaker quality and the reception, yeah. Uh, why don't we talk about? I think with the build quality is next, right? Yes, the build quality is in fact next. So why don't we discuss that? So, Ow. excuse me. My foot. It was an accident. My foot. It was an accident. But um, anyways, um, right off the bat, let's get serious now. Right off the bat, you can clearly see that this radio has some integrity built into it. I mean, it's a fairly solid radio. The antenna unscrews like it would on that of the ESP2100. The only thing is, I would not recommend putting your finger in there. When it's, uh, you know, you see this right there? When you're yeah. transmitting, because it will shock you, and radio frequency burns are the worst. Like, the absolute worst. Well, you've actually done that before? Yes, one time. Okay, it, was, it was very minor. I'm gonna I'm ask you this. What possessed you to do that? I'll explain. Back in 2017, when the Baofeng was starting to become popular, Somebody had said in a group chat that we were in on Skype of all platforms Imagine Skype. that somebody tried it without the antenna and it shocked them. And then I tried it down in like Spartanburg with uh with SPC Kennesaw and SPC Peachtree City. And it actually did hurt. It was off camera, but it, <clears throat> it did hurt. I mean to to be quite honest. It shouldn't even, you know, you shouldn't even try it out yourself anyway. I just did it just to find out for myself. But, I mean, it feels like a, a pinch, but it was only for like a half a second. And, because it, it did pretty, it did hurt pretty bad, at least for me. But, other than that, it's not that bad. But with the Baofeng, of course, you're going to have those types of problems. Because of, with a transmitting radio like this, it's definitely vital to know that you shouldn't, you know, put it in there. Unfortunately, with this, this is another one of the bail things that allows you to, like, do that. And God damn you. Nicholas Miller. Yes. You suck. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah! <laughs> do we have enough of that? No. No, we do oh. not. <laughs> Zoom in on the ball instead. But not me. Oh, no. What is this? Oh, he's actually zooming in. So, anyways, guys. <laughs> anyways, why don't we get into the next feature, and uh, yeah, that would be the flashlight on top. Single LED flashlight. All right, you were saying? Okay, so, the flashlight right up top, which is in between the antenna and the power button. So, yep. you gotta power it on first, and then, um, you press this button right here. It's also an SOS light. Yep. You press this button, which is the monitor button, right uh -huh. here. And when you turn it on the first time, it's just a single, normal, regular LED flashlight. It's not that bright, but here. Actually, I know a perfect place to touch. Oh, I want to win tacos no. for life. No. 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 Yeah, look at that. Leave your water bottle. Oh, wait. I want to test it in there just to get an aspect of the brightness. Hey, don't don't get my bail thing wet like you I'm did not, your iPhone. I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. If I point Imagine it inside switch. Um, <laughs> 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 you still in part in Fourth Street, Calhoun. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, flashlight, SOS light. <laughs> so yeah, let's test, let's test it out in uh, Nicholas's water bottle because 
it's dark in there and it's chrome, but yeah, you can see how it's dark this, like my soul. Yes, yeah, same. And my future. Same. But um, you can see here that although you might not be able to see it that clearly, um, look here. You can see just the ice cubes in there. You can see it reflecting off of the ice, which means it's not that bright. This is just a small demonstration. So if you could hold that real quick while I uh, put the antenna back on it. I got um, it. Oh, okay. But um, the single LED is actually quite bright for what it is, especially on the camera lens, because it has that nice cross on it. You can see that right there. It has that nice cross effect. And then when you press the monitor button again, it flashes. That is the SOS light. Even though it doesn't change color like the Etons do, it's still a useful feature to have. You should have the zone guard still. Yeah, but you didn't. But um, anyways. So you just put them by your, by, your, by your bed like we did last night. Hey. Look at all these buildings. They're all around us as we review this. Yeah, part of the uh, constant, constant going off topic things. If it was me behind the camera, I'd be just be like boom, 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 and boom. But this is radio reviews. Sometimes you get off topic. Also, look at this. Off topic again, but look how much this right here messes with the refresh rate. It messes up with the refresh rate oh, so yeah. bad. But anyways, yeah. But um, yeah. Also, I should mention that when you press the call button for the siren test, it also flashes. And that's the alarm actually. See that? It flashes. Yeah, we know. Oh no. But anyways, um, let's try to wrap this up. Let's go to the final thoughts of this radio, and I will allow you to hold it. Okay, the final thoughts on the Bailfang UV5 RV2 Plus. So, Javier. Yes. Would you say that this is a good radio? Uh, would, I would say it's like uh, more like in the middle. So it's like, it's not the worst radio to have, but it's also not the best, you know? I honestly could see a little bit more potential. Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, would I recommend it? I mean, if you know exactly what you're doing, then yeah. Then yes. But like for me, I the reason why I have the bail thing is because I use it for monitoring stuff like police, fire, ambulance. I would, so, I would have, I would honestly consider getting one of these so I can monitor the state relay network. But the only problem is. Eh. I gotta find a freaking one. I gotta find a charging cradle for that thing. And two, it comes with a charging cradle. Oh, it does? Yeah, yeah when you buy it, it 5RB2 Plus comes with a charging cradle. Yeah, it comes with it. So. Oh, good. It's basically like Midland with the HH54 VP2 and the regular HH. Like the UV5R does not come with it, the V2 Plus does. Yes. Gotcha. But. And uh, also, also, the UV5R V2 Plus has improved transmission ranges rather than the regular UV5R. And it's slightly more consistent. So, yeah. Other than that, I would personally recommend it as well. Just only get it if you know what you're doing with it. Yeah, and do not, do not transmit over any government frequency. Or don't even transmit at all, unless you have a license. Yeah, th those would really come with a programming cable so you can disable the push the talk button. Yeah. But. Not just that, but especially because we're in Quote 35's area. Don't transmit on Channel 7. Nope. Nope. So, yeah. Don't transmit, period, unless you have a license, but. Yeah. Anyways. All right. Yeah, pretty much. So, on that note, as it is past 6 o'clock, according to the Paramount building, right up there, it's 6 3 
All right, we're gonna end this video. Six old. <laughs> even more whack. So it already has been whack. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to drop a comment down below and <laughs> like this video and subscribe to all of us here. Yes. Subscribe to Thunder Buddy 01, Clay Ranger 143, the host of Radio Reviews, and the OG North County 599, and my girlfriend yeah. Northwest Southern Star. And also become a Thunder Buddy super fan for just $2.99 a month. Expensive. Starting today. It's not expensive. Anyway, just uh, if you want to help him out, as well as helping me out for some extra cash, $2.99 a month for both my membership and Nicholas's membership skills right there. Bitches. Oh, you suck. And you hey, swallow. Mine's, mine's not even implemented yet. In before he puts this for $19.99. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay, geez. we're gonna we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna end the video. Anyways, this is Clay Ranger 143 signing out along with me, Thunder Buddy 01. NorCal 2599. And no Star. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye!